What do you see when you see the Lord Jesus Christ? The Apostle Paul tells us in the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 4, When Christ, who is our life, appears, then we shall also appear with Him in glory. What do you see when you see the Lord Jesus Christ? I want to tell you what you see. You see your life revealed. That's right. When you look at the Son of God, you see yourself in a mirror. You say, what do you mean? I see myself in a mirror. You are looking, when you look at the Son of God, you are looking at the perfect man. You're looking at God's ideal. You're looking at God's standard. You're looking at God's desired original intent for Adam. You're looking at the best that God has, his goal. What's the prize across the finish line that the Apostle Paul speaks of in Philippians? It is Christ. You're seeing yourself. You say, what do you mean I'm seeing myself? Because when you and I are born of the Spirit, when we enter the kingdom of God, we are placed in Christ Jesus. We are in Him now. You see that phrase used a great deal through the letters of the Apostle Paul. In Him, in Him, in Him, in Him. That's where you and I live. That's where we are. And when you see Christ, you are seeing your life revealed. You are seeing that which God is moving you toward. You are seeing that which God has made you as a new creation. He is our righteousness. He is our holiness. He is our perfection. He is our glory. He is our wisdom. He is everything we need. He has become that to us. He has clothed us with His righteousness. He has clothed us with His perfection. He's taken away our sin. He's removed it as far as the east is from the west. We are now in Him. You are seeing yourself in a mirror when you look at the Lord Jesus Christ. You as a new creation. When we, as we live this life, this life is a process of you and I living out and becoming outwardly who we already are eternally in Christ inwardly. And God is in the process of developing us and maturing us that His life can be expressed through us. But we are already perfectly united in one spirit, by one spirit, with the Lord Jesus Christ. We are one with Him. When you see Him, you see yourself. But here's the kicker. <laughs> when God looks at you and me, what He sees is His Son. That's all He sees. He doesn't see our flaws. He doesn't see our warts. He doesn't see the stains that we brought upon our life. He doesn't see the imperfections and the weaknesses and the faults and the shortcomings. He sees one thing. He sees His Son. And man, is He in love with His Son. He is ravished by the love of His Son. He is intoxicated by the love of His Son. He is permanently. He has never been out of love with His Son. He has always been in love with His Son and He always will be. As it is true for you and I. As His children, we see your life revealed. And our lives in this world, when people see us, see His life revealed. Paul, when he was writing to the church at Ephesus at the end of the first chapter, verse 22 and 23, he says, And He has put all things in subjection under His feet, and He gave Him as head over all things to the church, you and I, which is His body, the fullness, we are the fullness, the church, of Him who fills all and all. God wants to make Himself visible and revealed through the body of the Messiah, you and I. Where's the world and how's the world going to see Christ? It's going to see Him through His church, His body. The world ought to stand back and be able to look at the body of Christ and see the Son of God, His character, His conduct, His love, His passion, His mercy, His grace, His power. The world ought to be able to see that. Tragically, too many times the world doesn't see that. The world sees strife and jealousy and envy and all kinds of corruption and manipulation and control and religion. Not a person. 
God's intent and desire is when the world looks at you and I, they see His Son perfectly revealed. You are in Him now. You are in Him if you're His child forever. I read a statement recently that so has impacted me that God found us in Christ before He ever lost us in Adam. In Christ before the foundation of the world, before Adam ever fell, God's never lost us. He loves us. And He wants us to realize and understand that it is His life in us that needs to be and wants to be revealed to a watching world and that when we look at His Son, we see ourselves in a mirror. Not because we earned it, not because we're good enough, but because of the perfect work of a perfect Savior who has clothed us with His perfection. Chew on that for a little while. Ponder it and spend some time today beholding Him who is always beholding you and smiling.